Africa is always at risk of drought. Recurring water shortages endanger local ecosystems, threatening agriculture-based communities. As climate change continues, researchers expect droughts to become even more frequent and severe. In Limpopo province, this small dairy cooperative produces milk for local villages. If there is a drought, the small farmers will collapse. They won't function. They, they, they will get no profit whatsoever. If uh, I can advance about drought, I'll be able to, to organize some fees for, the, for my cattle. I'll be able to, to see to it that uh, my dam is up to date. It's, you know, the water is enough in the, in the dams. A group of European and African scientists arrive from an EU research project. They're visiting the area to understand how to help local farmers prepare for droughts. Obviously, droughts hit the most vulnerable in a population and expose them to issues of food security, health or even sanitation. And this can be seen throughout the continent. And the focus of this project is to try and improve or mitigate risks related to drought in the African context. Farmers generally rely on short-term TV weather forecasts. Existing medium and long-term models, based on satellite and ground data, are far too complicated to be accessible to the general public. This is, of course, very technical information. Somewhat difficult, I think, for a farmer to immediately understand. And also, not so important, I think, for them to understand. Farmers make decisions on how they crop, um, how they use fodder to feed the cows. Um, and they use, let's say, criteria to make those decisions. And those criteria are not directly in these maps. Because they understand how their farms work. We don't need to tell them that. But we can maybe give them yeah, those key bits of information that help them make decisions to, well, to, uh, to increase their resilience to, uh, to drought events. Researchers are proposing an early warning system that would make simple recommendations based on all the available data. Scientists, authorities and local people would work together to make such a drought alert system reliable and efficient. At the European level we are able to provide different types of data like meteorological data, uh, first of monitoring data, forecasting data, up to a few days at least. We can also try to do some seasonal forecasts, actually. And then uh, out of this data, however, the data itself is not the information these people need. We need to build some indicators. So one of our work, actually, also at the Joint Research Center, is to develop different kind of indicators, which you can both calculate at a continental level, at a region level, and possibly also at, let's say, a river basin level, what we call the local level in this case. Researchers are analysing the management of water resources across the continent, looking for ways to improve both governance and cooperation between African regions. The situation is that, that, that there's not enough water in, in South Africa. And, and uh, the, the rainy seasons is, is short and you've got long winters with low, low flow. So we need research to, to better the the management of the water resources.